Hello ladies and gents and welcome to the almost last week of the class, the penultimate week, which just means the week before the last one. But it's a fun word and Shakespeare uses it, so figured why not, right? Uh, this week we get to read The Tempest and this is a fun play because it is Shakespeare's last play that he wrote, which seems fitting to be the last play that we read in class. I know, little tear Maybe we need some tissues. The class is almost done. This is the last Shakespeare play we're going to be reading together. Ah, oh, emotions. All right. So <laughs> as we take a look at Shakespeare's Tempest, this genre is classified as a romance. Um, I will leave it up to you to see how you might interpret it. The Tempest is another one of Shakespeare's plays that gets done a lot and has a lot of mixed reviews. People see it as um, one of his great accomplishments. He has very nuanced and complicated characters, um, but also there are some problematic bits, potentially uh, some post-colonialism type critical lenses we could use as we look at it. We'll talk more about that in the recorded lectures on Wednesday. Um, but the character of Caliban is potentially problematic in a more modern reading of the text. Uh, just as we had some prejudice and some bias and some stereotypes in Merchant of Venice, we do see that play in again here in The Tempest. So Shakespeare's reacting to the world in which he lives and has some very interesting commentary for us. And once again, the character of Caliban revolves very closely around how the actor and director decide to interpret that character. So the plays that we get to see in the modules tab, I think do a really good job of not only humanizing this character, but making him sympathetic as well. Not entirely sympathetic because he does some bad stuff. And you're like, no, that's not good. Kind of like Shylock who wants to take five pounds of flesh. Caliban uh, wants to do some pretty bad stuff too. So not a good character, but less a one-dimensional character than um, this character has been played in the past. So I'm really interested to see how you guys um, interpret Caliban and how um, the, the videos that we're going to be watching interpret him as well. So lots of really good stuff here. Uh, the character of Prospero, the big magician. There's a magician here, guys. Yes, there is. And a wind spirit named Ariel, which is pretty fun too. So good things happening here. Um, amazing play. Really excellent. But just wanted to give you that caveat that there are some literary criticism theories that um, we're going to take into consideration as we read this play as well. So on Monday, you're going to be reading The Tempest, start reading it at least, uh, the intro and uh, Shakespeare and the romance genre. Then we'll be reading The Tempest throughout the week. We want to have it done by Friday. Um, we'll have a recorded lecture in the modules tab on The Tempest. I'll be posting that uh, hopefully Monday afternoon, if not Tuesday morning. Um, and then we will watch The Tempest and then we get to do the Tempest activity, um, which is a great uh, chance to show off our knowledge. Another very short essay we're going to be looking at. This is um, 500 words minimum instead of the 750 of the previous one. So shorter than the previous one, but still giving us a chance to um, do some deeper exploration of this topic. And once again, I've got an outline all put together for you. Um, and we'll talk more about that. I'll post a little video as we talk about that later. Um, but lots of good stuff coming our way. If we go into the class and take a look at the modules tab, as always, uh, the modules tab will be more populated uh, by Tuesday morning at the latest, but I've got the video productions for you here. So if you take a look, um, we have one very fun version. This is the most recent one done in 2010. You do have to pay a little bit to rent it. Um, but this one is very interesting because it has kind of a gender bent um, interpretation. So originally Prospero, the magician, is the father of Miranda, who is our romance interest in this play. However, this newer version of The Tempest decided to cast Helen Mirren, who can do no wrong in my book. She's, she's a queen. She's amazing. Um, Helen Mirren is Prospera. They've decided to make Prospero the magician, a woman who is then the mother, of course, of Miranda. So really interesting take um, and a very star-studded cast. So this is Hollywood going all out for Shakespeare. It's visually stunning. Like just one of the most beautiful movies I think I've ever seen, just visually. And um, of course, incredible acting as well. So this one is $3.99 to rent, or you could check the Columbia Basin 
um, Tri-Cities libraries, like the Richland Library, the Kennewick Library, the Pasco Library, um, they probably all have copies of The Tempest you could get, uh, you know, in old-fashioned DVD hard copy if you get in touch with them and reserve a copy. So there's that. There is also an incredible version of The Tempest done by the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, who also can do no wrong in my book. They have done just an amazing job. And the Alexander Street, once again, is a useful software because you can watch the movie and have the text appear on the right-hand margin at the same time, which is pretty cool. So um, Alexander Street gives us this free version of The Tempest through the CBC databases. And obviously my uh, internet is being very slow, but you can tell it's already going to be fun. Check out the, the makeup and the mohawk. It's amazing. That's going to be Ariel, the wind spirit. It's super cool. Check it out. It's amazing. So lots of good stuff for us there. I'll be posting the No Fear Shakespeare link as well as some modern interpretation articles on the topic um, and our recorded lectures, of course, will all be in the modules tab for you. So good stuff coming our way as we round out the week. I'll be posting a video next week um, about how finals week is going to look. Um, it does look like a full finals week, but Here's what's happening. Uh, finals week, we have one brief discussion board that is more fun than it is hard work. So check that out. Uh, and then we will have an extra credit opportunity um, to do some of your art skills. Uh, that's extra credit. And then just a very brief reflection quiz. Um, I think it's only eight questions. And it's just asking about the class, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, if you could change something, what would it be? Like all that good stuff is the reflection quiz. And then we will have a final quiz that will pull information from all of the plays that we've looked at so far. Um, and I'll talk more about that at the beginning of next week and I'll put um, a study guide up for you then. So lots of good things coming our way. Final grades are due to the administration by the 22nd for instructors. So I'm gonna shoot to have everything graded and finalized by Friday the 18th so that you've got the weekend to ask any questions you might have before I have to submit those final grades. Because once they're submitted to the administration, I don't get to change them anymore. I lose my control of them. So uh, we'll want to reach out with any questions before the 22nd. Um, but we'll talk all about that next week. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. In the meantime, we get to enjoy the Tempest and Shakespeare's uh, final crowning achievement in his playwriting career. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, reach out with any questions. And I'll be posting the recorded lecture, hopefully Monday evening. Have a great week, guys.